all heart. We all hurt. We all heart. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy All Heart back again with another video. I'm currently in Camp Verde, Arizona. Um, yeah, on my way to Sedonia. It's kind of exciting because I've been told about Sedonia and been thinking about Sedonia for so many years. It's crazy that I'm finally getting to go here. So I was leaving the gas station. I came across the world's largest Cacopelli. You should look it up if you don't know about him bringing abundance and prosperity into your life that's the man girlfriend but uh yeah so i'm on my way to sedonia in today's video i just kind of want to talk about like myself i guess because i really don't do that too much and a lot of times people say i'm real mysterious so we we'll do some self-talk to them so my seven bash just ran into this couple because the parking there's no parking at the trail which makes no sense um this is the couple that helped me this is debbie the the the, the van driver they these two just helped me out it's crazy these two are from phil or uh, on the seven bodies of water trail and then hop on to birth and cave trail yeah that's the truth i feel that i love hearing other people's stories so how'd you get into hiking hiker help i i worked at this hotel i was okay. the shuttle driver yep and I used to drive people to the trail. Uh -huh. And when it's busy, there's hundreds of people walking on the street. It's insane. Oh, yeah, I could believe it. And we're not busy right now because, number one, it's too hot still. Okay. And season doesn't actually start till like, October. So this is Debbie's little card. If you're ever out in Sedonia and you need a ride. So many people got lost or never found them. So what happens is people get anxiousness. Okay. And so even the trail up to the caves is not an actual trail. It's just what people have pounded down from yep. over the years of going there. Okay. And it's really only been since the internet, you know, mm -hmm. no one really even knew about it. All right, so Debbie dropped me off. I'm at seven, I'm on the trail right now. I'll flip it here in a second. Headed towards seven sacred pools. Um. Apparently, I can go from this trail to the birthing cave, which I might. She said it'd take about two to three hours. Um, so, kind of just want to get into like who, what, when, where, all heart, and just kind of like a little bit about myself. And so, I'm pretty sure I discussed this before, but just to kind of be more familiar, um, my first name Xavier. Everyone just calls me X. I was born in Morgantown, West Virginia. Moved to Pennsylvania when I was maybe like, I don't know, whatever age you are in first grade or kindergarten. And then from there, basically lived in PA my whole life. Um, I've done a lot of traveling since the age of about 18. Um, I have a younger sister and an older brother. What else? I'm trying to think what else to give y'all. What else do y'all want to know? That's the question. What do y'all want to know? Because I'll tell. I just gotta know, need to know what you want to know. My logo and kind of came up with the name and everything. Um, but I know it was after 2015, but it was prior to 20... 20, I think it had to have been before 2017. So it might've been like 2016 or like early 2017 when it was made. Um, so All Heart, A-L-L-H-X-R-T. It's one of those tomato, tomato words. I don't know what that word is called right now, but where essentially it can be pronounced more than one way. So All Heart can be pronounced All Heart or All Hurt. Um, the name meaning is kind of just like life you decide whether you live life of love or a life of pain, hurt or heart. Um, and it was kind of just like, I created it with the idea and the intent of uniting everyone. You know, there's all these little things in society that bring certain parts or groups together, but also cause them to divide. about 
groups wanting to feel empowered, but there's real no, there's no true power until we're all unified. Kind of came up with it for that reason. And, you know, it's just more of like a, I guess like a utopic ideal or, or thought or theory is that, you know, with all heart, I kind of want to bring everyone together to kind of love each other and just love other people who don't love themselves and kind of just make a place where people can feel included and understood and just be and feel comfortable just being themselves because that's like a big aspect of who I am. Like I'm all about like just being me, being X and just doing what I want to do and how I want to do it and not really worrying about what other people think about it or what they're going to say because you got to live for yourself, you know, if if you're always worried about what the next person's going to say, you know, you're you're going to live a life of uh, sadness because you're constantly just going to be worried about what someone would say about something you could have done. So. Instead of sports, I was really into nature. Um, I spent a lot of times in the woods as a child. Um, I had me and my friends created a paintball course in the woods. We were really big into that for a while. Um, I'm just, dang, I went the wrong way. Dang, I'm gonna end up. Yeah, I'm about to get on. Oh, wait, 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 there's a trail. Kind of. I don't know what's going on. We'll just sit down for a little bit. All right. So, whew, it's hidden out here. You know, it's crazy. That couple asked me, I, I told them about my art, and, they, and after they asked me if I ever thought about tattooing. And the craziest thing is, I just got a tattoo gun maybe two or three weeks ago. And I've been wanting to, like, I've been, like, itching a tattoo, but I haven't done it yet. And now I'm going to do it. Again.